Good morning. It is insanely beautiful here. It's also insanely expensive. Like everything's expensive. I don't even wanna talk about how much this manicure costs. We'll never talk about it again. I'm also trying to get my oil changed today so I can take some road trips later this weekend into next week. Uh, word on the street is Jiffy Lube is $139. So <laughs> yeah, prices are insane, especially at the antique malls I've been to, but this one looks a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more out of town. So I'm excited for a good old fashioned antique mall. I'm gonna go thrifting today, which is something I normally don't do. But first I need my antique mall fix. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm also a little confused. It's like there are multiple entrances. Uh, I guess I'll start here. Maybe I won't, there's something in that basket. love that ice bucket. Super neat lucite handle. Let's see what we're working with. 49. Okay, so a far cry from where I was last time. Last time it was like add a zero onto that. Oh my gosh, stop. Look at this cat. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. At $65, I don't think I can do anything with it. But it's fantastic. We're on the right track. I love the little lamp and the little paperweight. Cute. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. That's a really neat shade. I like the effect on that. Well, you probably can't see it because I'm like blinding you. Um, This doll though. Oh my gosh, she's fantastic. The lady just left she was like if you need help let me know i'm like i already actually need help <laughs> uh, i can't see the prices i'm looking at some of the other ones the other ones are kind of all over the place she is really something great but i'm um, gonna wait to get a key because i have a feeling uh, i'll either a see more or b it's a little out of my league oh my gosh that bag look at that beaded bag it looks like beans after a couple weeks of being on the road and seeing all I've seen, I, I can't lie, these uh, are kind of underwhelming, but they're fun. They're a little, a little expensive here, huh? <laughs> I find those all the time back in Pennsylvania for next to nothing. Love all the Kenwood and mid-century pottery. This one's really neat with the stand. And these chalkware figures are really neat too. Again, definitely on the pricey side. I like that Jack in the Pulpit, even though it's probably contemporary, George Briard. All right, all right, I see you. I'm just still not really sure if I'm going the right way. I love the coin dot, yellow. I feel like I never see yellow coin dot. Let's see what's going on over here. Kind of love this little cufflink section. Oh my gosh, look at the old bow tie display. So neat. This place is huge. I picked up a basket. I'm having a feeling I won't fill it, um, but rather be safe than sorry. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is so neat. I'm so glad to see something in my style. Oh my gosh, this chocolate box. That's at $50. Honestly, that's a really fair price for a collector. That's a really unique one. The, oh my gosh, look at the Santa. Is this a Santa's gum ad? Oh, it's huge. It's very neat though. Old Wrigley's ad. And then this clown is kind of calling my name. That is amazing. What does that say? Paper mache Christmas clown. Oh my gosh, stop. That's perfect. Also, this is amazing, this little curio cabinet with the matches and gum. That is amazing. I really like that display. And the bathing beauty. All these neat little miniatures. So fantastic. Love the little tins. The graphics on them are very good. So, whoa, compacts are very expensive here. Or at least in this case, I should say. That lamp is amazing, but there's one that sticks out from the crowd for sure. What is that with the lady on it? That kind of Art Deco style. Looks like 
Naughty Adults Only Mirror, $25. That's really unique. I might actually take a look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that black cat. That's fantastic too. Ah, I love this hair dressing tin. Oh my gosh, this, this gum stuff is amazing. I'm really into it. I kind of want to get some, uh, but I have a feeling it would probably melt in my car. There's no way around that. Oh my gosh, the little eyelash line. <gasps> Snappy bubble dancer? Mimi? What is that? Oh, you know I have a soft spot for the risque. I'm like such a sucker for it. This is amazing. Look at that tin. That one's at $60, though. So, um, I have a feeling I'm gonna walk out with something I don't need for myself. I love that. What does that say? You will look best always. Oh my gosh, that tin is amazing. It's probably like in the 30s. The other ones are, look, there you can see it. It's not a very good shot of it. I'm kind of overwhelmed and distracted freaky baby thing uh also whatever this piece of pottery is that's so neat oh my gosh and that little tin i'm really into this place i'm really glad i came here even if i don't find a bunch of stuff for resale that's fine by me this is this is exactly what i was looking for oh my gosh so much risque i've barely i'm like still in the same space i've been here forever just kind of staring Oh my gosh, I love all this stuff. Look at this bottle. So unique. Clown whiskey bottle. I've seen stuff like that's kind of like that, but newer. I've never. Oh my gosh, I kind of love it. Uh, clown whiskey bottle. I feel like if I spent $30 on this, I wouldn't get much more out of it. It kind of seems like a me thing. There's a lot of me things in here. Like this camel. Oh my gosh, have a real sick. Look at the font on that. My gosh. How much is this? I'm trying to do so many things at once. 46. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm definitely going to walk away with something I don't need here. Or maybe I will need it. Who knows? I do need to step away from those cases though. Just because I'd like to see what else they have before I spend a fortune in here. Marilyn, Marilyn. Oh my gosh, look at the, oh, we need to know how much that is. I'm guessing one something. Yes, 135 and I'm not mad at it. This place is awesome. I, I'm like so not even into the cat planter after those cases, my gosh. So much unique stuff here. Well, of course, this caught my eye. I've never seen this size before. Lucite white light shades, $45 for all. It's kind of neat. Huh. I'm nervous about that. Also, that owl back there, but I already picked him up and he's 25. I cheated. I looked before. This is super. Those are really cool. Oh my gosh. Those glasses with the rhinestones. Stop it. They're $25. I'm kind of curious what the age on them is like. I do believe them to be older. I kind of want to take a look. Hi. Oh my gosh. Look at the cats. The TV lamp is amazing. Oh wow, look at that Last Supper glass. Now I did try on those glasses. Uh, I just like can't justify it because I actually do need prescription. Look at that pin cushion doll, 45. That's really unique. I've never seen one quite like that. Let's see. Look at the crazy ring. Those look like um, those earrings, like the ones I got night at the Ritz or whatever. Interesting stuff. I love that little tin, but at $12, it's too high for me to do anything with it. I'm not so sure about the snowflake situation, but I love the actual gold coasters. I would totally buy that for myself. 
and uh, ditch the snowflakes, no offense. The two perfume bottles, that blue one, and then that lady one, oh my gosh. I also love this compact, but it's at 125. There's definitely something special about it that I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at those mermaids. 295. But also the pink panther tiki set. I never, oh my gosh. Look at these mermaids. Amazing. Obviously too high for me to resell, but I can appreciate them nevertheless. And I love to talk where fish. Well, I'm trying to maintain order, but I see something. Okay, $125, just kidding. Okay, but this mid-century room is actually amazing. It's definitely spendy, but it's kind of perfection. So, <laughs> and compared to the prices around here, I'm really not, I'm like, this is cheap compared to everything else I've seen. This cat set at 68 is fantastic, but also more cat TV lamps. That one's at 129, this one's 225, I love that one. Oh my gosh, look at these, I've never seen these Viking Thumper Bunny, $80 each. Oh, I'm super zoomed out, sorry. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, these, this is amazing. I love this bowl sets. I'm gonna go back, I just, I'm very into this pottery situation happening here. Yeah, I cannot get enough of this. Look at that vase. Man, the fish, super neat. Look at this green fish. This looks like Viking, maybe. Mid-century Fostoria, flying fish, $40. Super neat. Oh my gosh, how did I not even look up and see all the talkware? So talkware is really expensive here. Um, but it's also really amazing. <laughs> wow, I love all the fish. Look at these funky, cool wood cats. And I'm very distracted by what's happening over here. Now that fish set is 98. But this, those are at 129. Honestly, I wish those were a little bit less. I would probably get them and be like, why did I buy this later? But they're pretty freaking rad, man. Insanely cool. 48. It's like the one I saw when I was out with Alex, except smaller. Oh my gosh. This pen cushion. Oh. 48. That's amazing. I don't need that though. I have many variations of that, just not a pin cushion one. Is that like a belt buckle? That's really crazy cool, man. I don't see any price or sign on it. I also can't figure out how to open the case. And I think that blue one is at 18. That's really fantastic. It's a little close, I think. Oh my gosh. So much amazingness. That's different. Oh my gosh, those bookends in that box. Oh my gosh, so cool. The purple crushed velvet Bible. Look at this ashtray. It's kind of weird. Japan, 1978. It's very cool. A lot of really epic flower pins. I love that green iridescent one. And of course the teal, the teal, I can see the tag is 18. And a lot of them look pretty much retail, which doesn't surprise me. The cat pin cushion, 26. These creatures are kind of interesting. They almost look Italian. Huh. And I love the pink high heel shoe. Oh, it's ceramic and it's also attached to something. How much are you? The little Italian prints. Oh, 24. Oh my gosh, look at the crazy winking owl. Salt and pepper shakers, they're huge. I think they're treasure craft. 
24. Definitely some interesting ones. I love the tool. I love the lighter too. 24 is not a bad price either. It's locked up. I like this little vase. 19, dang. I love that celluloid photo button. That's amazing. 39. Cute little frog planter. I think it's Norcrest. No, Lefton. Golfing. Hmm. There's all kinds of stuff hidden in here. Oh, I love this. 22, though. I already picked up a Vegas esque souvenir that I'm not sure. Wait, this, why is that crazy pink one 12? That thing's kind of neat. It's got a little paint loss on it, though. Hmm, I wonder if I could get away with that. Might be too much paint loss once I pick it up. Oh my gosh, look at that. That bank is funny. More chalkware. Amazing collection of chalkware, for sure. And I love this ash um, lighter. That is really neat. Glass ashtray. Um confused maybe it comes with oh they're both $50 they just have their opposite tags on them and of course this cigarette holder at 25 that's actually a pretty good buy for a collector not really my thing but what I believe to be those art glass votives very cool 45 wow look at these these are so pretty Whatever this giant red thing. Oh, I thought it was one piece. I thought it was like a decanter. <laughs> it's two different things. And Bakelite up the wazoo. Look at those necklaces. Oh my gosh, those are so fun. What is that? Oh, the ring. I'm looking at the ring that's on top of the napkin ring. Huh. Can't see what the price says. It's really neat. It might be a tough sell, sell since it has to be uh, completely your size. Wow, this is a neat case. I love the bake light checkers. Big bake bake light phase right now for sure. Do you see what I see? Fifteen. That is insanely cute. Now, I had the basket version of this, which sold for good money, but I don't think I could do much with this at 15 for resale. Maybe get like literally a dollar or two out of it, but we're on the right track here. I love the cats, of course. Hmm. Yeah, everything I've picked up so far is just a little too close. Oh, this vase is so pretty. And then this head vase is kind of unique. Looks like a hobbyist, maybe. Well, over there in that corner, I have a feeling I'm about to get my heart broke. This one's super, super broken. Oh my gosh. Is it for a pair? Because they're both, I mean, <laughs> I could keep one. I could keep the super broken one. I think it's, hmm, that's really fantastic. The sailor one. Oh, it's a, it's a little, it's a little out of control. This is really neat too. Dang, that breaks my heart. Well, that was fun. Uh, I didn't find anything that I couldn't live without actually, but the day is young and I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day thrifting.